Welcome to the Empire Review, where we talk about what we've done in the past month and what's coming up ahead. Wait, hold on a second. I feel like we've done this before. And we're back. This is episode three of the Empire Review. I'm Arnie, and I'm the official DJ here at Hydro Empire. Boop, boop, boop. We're gonna talk about products and introduce a special guest, and we've got some announcements. Let's dig in. So let's talk about products. So you know, in our first video, we talked about how there's all kinds of new laws coming out and what we're supposed to look out for. So here's one new one for you. In many states right now, they're requiring dispensaries to provide exit bags for their customers on their way out. Here's an exit bag. What's cool about this bag is that it's completely opaque, cannot see through it, can't see inside it either. Uh, and it's got this really nice child lock mechanism over here. Watch this, if I open it like this without pushing down, I can't open it. But if I put it into the locking mechanism groove and pop that open, bingo. Mylar on the inside keeps your material fresh and secure from little hands. Here's a pro tip for you. If you want to brand your dispensary and it's a low cost solution, get a sticker, stick it on your bag, and boom, branding. F yeah. So what's the best way to grow potted plants? A prune pot, of course. These fabric pots are really great because it stops root circling by trapping the roots inside the fabric. It provides a lot of oxygen to the plant. And what's great about this is that you can transplant this into larger size prune pots. Here I'm holding a one gallon, but they can go up to 200 gallons. Sometimes more, if you need a custom one, we can get that for you too. You know what's cool about this prune pot is that they've got these sewn on handles, makes it really easy once these things get really heavy to move them around. Obviously not in a one gallon, but when you start getting up to the 50, 60 gallon prune pots, it gets heavy. These heavy duty handles makes it really easy to move them where you need to go. Prune pots, available now, hydroempire.com. Go get yours. I got mine, this is mine. So we got our pots, but what do we fill them with? Now let's talk about our growing medium. One of them is soil and the other is cocoa. Hey. <laughs> Hi, Coco. So can of cocoa. Cocoa is coconut. And this particular brand is grown in India. Highly monitored, quality control. This is really good stuff, guys. As far as cocoa goes, can of cocoa is the industry favorite. Always washed and pH balanced. When you're looking for a consistent product, especially cocoa, can of cocoa is really the best choice. Well, if cocoa's not for you, no problem. We got you covered. Uh, another alternative to cocoa is a soil. Uh, we recommend Fox Farms Ocean Forest. Uh, comes in a 1.5 cubic foot bag, and it's a great alternative. You know, what's really cool about the Ocean Forest soil is that it has a little bit of a nutrient source in it, so you could put your plants in there and literally just run some water for about a couple weeks before you have to enter any kind of nutrients. It's really great for that. And now to help me talk about our next product, I'd like to introduce you guys to someone you might already recognize, our in-house product expert, John. Hey, John, what's going on? I, I got here with me the Clonex Root Maximizer, and you know, I really want to be able to demystify what this is, because you know, I see here, this is a granular for soil and cocoa. And of course, in our segment here, we're talking about soil and cocoa. Could you elaborate a little bit about the usefulness and what it's all about, please? Yeah, well, Clonex Root Maximizer is a, another mycorrhizae product. We know there's a ton of them out there, but this one is special, you know. This one is actually created in vivo, which means it's created on living plants. But the whole purpose of mycorrhizae is actually for your roots. This one, this one particularly is made for soil and cocoa, which is great for those applications where you're gonna transplant into any kind of media. You could even use it for something like rock wool. So you're gonna put a small amount of it on the roots and it's gonna then create a larger root mass for you. It's gonna create healthier roots and in turn give you a better yield. So what's the benefits of having it in a granular format? Granular is great for the applications that granular works well, uh, like cocoa, soil, or uh, grodan. Rock wool. Um, but there is another soluble formulation that you can use if you do have a hydroponic system. So John, while I have you here, I'm holding here a bottle of Elite 91 clones, the same makers as Michael Jordan. Um, you know, I'd love it if you could just kind of talk a little bit about this and why it's so popular and the uses. You know, my, the um, Elite 91 is a great company. They make a few products, like you said, the Michael Jordan. They also make Roots, which is a root enhancer. But the clones is getting a lot of traction these days. 
You know, the clone is, clones is great because of the fact that it's systemic. So as soon as it hits, your cuttings hit the liquid, it systemically absorbs it as opposed to the other things that are just coating your, uh, your cuttings. It's also great because you can reuse it. So you can actually, this bottle will last you for a very long time if you use it properly according to their directions. Well, thanks for clarifying. You know, a lot of our customers are asking us this question, and I'd love to get your take on this. I know you're an expert, and I'd love to know. They ask us about Floralicious Grow and Bloom, and then, of course, Floralicious Plus. Can I, can I get your take on um, what's the differences? And, you know, a lot of people are asking us, do we need all three? Let's talk about it. So the Floralicious Bloom is used for the bloom stage, and the reason for that is they have certain kelp extracts that help with terpenes and flavor and aroma enhancement and help you get better, bigger, better fruits and flowers. The Floralicious Grow is set for your root enhancement because that's when your roots are growing the most. The Floralicious Grow also has sea kelps that help with uh, the health and vi you know, the uh, vitality of your plants. Okay. The Floralicious Plus now is a different product that they've combined the two. So they have all the sea kelp extracts from both sides, the bloom and the grow, and it also has amino acids and a bunch of other products. And it's also great because it is so concentrated. You use this at one mil per gallon. So this bottle is going to last you for a very long time. I mean, that's great. So now there you have it, guys. Between grow and bloom, you can just get the plus. It's got everything you need, highly concentrated, and it probably saves you a little bit of money too. Yeah, but there's also other people that do like to get it specific, that want the bloom for their bloom and their grow for the grow, and that's why they have all three. John, thank you so much for coming in and clarifying this for everybody. Well, thanks for having me. I love doing it. Ah, it's awesome. And now, announcements. For those of you out there that are looking for a little bit of an edge on how to make a purchase, especially when looking into products, there's so many to choose from, we now made it easier for you with our buyer's guides. You can find all our buyer's guides by clicking the link below. Visit that page often because we're adding new buyer's guides all the time. For you large scale growers out there, don't forget about our commercial growers program, our white glove service with green thumbs. We can help you with your grow. Give us a call at 800-843-5580. You know, as a reminder, you gotta check out that Grow Box Club video. So check it out in the link below. Well guys, that about wraps us up. Don't forget, we're on social media. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Can of Coco, I love you. That's it. That is all.